Hello developers, welcome back to our JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, I am going to explain what the spread operator is and how it works in JavaScript. The spread operator is really handy feature that was introduced in ES6 and it can make your code much cleaner and more concise. Whether you are a beginner or experienced developer, understanding how to leverage spread operators can make your code more concise and expressive. But before we dive in, a quick favor, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript a comprehensive guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait, grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. First, what is the spread operators? Spread operators are a useful feature that was introduced in ECMAScript 6 or you can say ES6. The spread syntax simply looks like this, three consecutive dots. So what do spread operators do? The spread syntax split up the elements from the iteratable objects and spread them out individually. Let's look at some example to understand this better. First. Let's see how we can use spread operators in array. So let's say here we have an array const array1 is equal to let's say this is an array of colors. So let's say it has red and blue and we have one more array const array2 is equal to and it has values yellow and green. Now let's suppose we want to combine these two arrays. We can do this with the help of spread operator. So to merge these two arrays, let's say we have a new variable const and its name is let's say combined array is equal to initialize a new array. And now we are going to spread this array into this new array. So here we will say three dots and then pass array 1. Next we want to spread the values of this array. So again three dots then array 2. Now let's console log this combined array. Now in console log you can see this combined array variable has value red, blue, yellow, green. Using spread operator we can also create copy of this variable. Now you may say that what is big deal in this? We just create a new variable. Let's say const, let's say variable name is copied array is equal to array1. Now we have new variable copied array which is copy of array1. But here we have a problem. Let's see. So first let's console log array1 and copied array. In both variable we have same value red blue and here also red blue now let's suppose we want to push a new value into this copied array variable so copied array dot push yellow immediately in the console you can see in the both variable array 1 and copied array has same value red blue yellow and red blue yellow but here we have pushed this value in this copied array variable so how it has added in this array 1 because in javascript when we assign a value like this it stores the reference address of this variable in the new variable now let's create a new copied array using spread operator so first wrap this in square bracket 
and then add three dots like this so we have spread the values of this array in this new array now save this time you can see the array one has red blue in the copied array variable we have red blue yellow right here when we spread this array variable we can also add new items to this array for example let's say we want to add purple now here you can see that purple value in the console now we have seen the use of spread operators in array it provides the same features for object as well let's see so let's say here we have a object const object one is equal to curly braces and here we have object properties let's say name john and let's say age and a random value let's say we have another object const object two is equal to curly braces and it has property job web developer now let's merge both of these object using spread operator so const let's say merged object is equal to curly braces now using three dots that spreads values of object one and also object two now let's console log merged object now you can see in the console we have merged object which has name job age similarly we can create a new copy of this object using spread operator let's see const copied object is equal to in curly braces first three dot spread the values of object one now console log copied object and you can see copied object has name and age the copy of object one and if we want we can add new values in this object so let's say we want to add job developer and here we have name job age now here we can also override the values of this also so let's say here age is 24 and we want to override it to something else let's say age any random age and then we have job now in the console you can see it has override the age 34 let's see another example of destructuring in the previous video we have learned about array destructuring in case you have missed that please watch it first to understand this example so let's suppose here we have array of colors so const colors is equal to red blue green and yellow now we want to extract the values of this array into variable so for that we can use array destructuring so const first initialize an array is equal to colors now let's say we want to extract the first value in a variable primary then secondary now let's console all these primary and secondary variables primary and secondary and in the console we can see primary variable has red and secondary variable has blue now let's see rest of the values we want to store in another variable for that we can use spread operators in this array destructuring so here we can say three dots and then variable name let's say rest now let's console log this rest and you can see primary has red secondary has blue and this rest variable has remaining values of this color variables green yellow same thing we can implement with objects also let's see so let's say here we have a object const person is equal to an object and it has name john comma let's say age any random number it has email john at example.com and next it has job let's say web developer now let's extract the name and age in another variable and remaining properties in another object so const because this is an object so here we will initialize a new object and then is equal to person next we need name and age 
and rest of the properties in another variable so we can store them using spread operator and then let's say variable other info let's console log all of these so name age and other info now in the console we have name john age 45 and rest of properties in another info email job there you have it we have covered spread operators in javascript a simple yet powerful feature that can make your code cleaner and your programming life a bit easier if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or topic you would like us to cover drop them in comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials thanks for watching happy coding Thank mm -hmm. you.